So yesterday this assignment was floated on the group. For the last two days, days one and two, we have been trying to simply ourselves for some time and see if we are comfortable with him or not. Not only when we are doing by ourselves, but even when we are in the midst of and engaged in activities. That day, day three, wrote down your observations. So we are trying to observe here whether happiness is our innate nature or is it an external influence. Are we happy by ourselves or we have to depend on something outside for happiness? As we discussed, if I am happy by myself, then the source of happiness is inside. And the source of happiness is right understanding, right feeling, right thought within me. Otherwise, I have to depend on something outside for my happiness. I have to fetch happiness from outside from time to time. And there are two primary sources to fetch happiness from outside. One is favorable sensation from the body. And the second is favorable feeling from others. So through the sense organs, I try to get favorable sensation from the body so that I am happy momentarily. And since I want to have continuity of happiness, I keep on trying new and new things. I keep on trying more and more sensations to fetch happiness for myself. Similarly, whatever feeling I get from the other is also not continuous. I have to keep on trying something or the other so that I can fetch attention of others. I can grab attention of others. I can do something so that others can shower appreciation on me, praise on me, pay attention to me or whatever. Something which I find as favorable in terms of feeling. Now, for this, initially we said that after the discussion took place in the morning, that sit by yourself for some time, maybe half an hour, and observe whether you are at peace, at ease with yourself or you become restless. And then you have to go for something outside to be happy. And then we said that now while you are there, involved in your activity, you are there in the midst of people, either in the family or in the organization, whatever, try to see whether you are happy or not by yourself, or you have to depend on something outside again. Now here one important thing is that when the source of happiness is inside, I am happy by myself. I still interact with people. I still interact with physical facilities. But that is with happiness and not for happiness. So when the source of happiness is inside, I still participate, but with happiness. If the source of happiness is not inside, I participate, but for happiness. Are you able to see this difference? You can respond in the chat box. The source of happiness is inside, I participate with happiness. If the source of happiness is not inside, I participate for happiness. Similarly, I also have to observe what happiness means to me. So totally discuss it. But if there is any observation regarding the assignment that we had yesterday, and if you like to share something, you can raise your hand and share. And I hope by now all of us have made a journal. Uh, let me say that earlier we used to make journal in a hard copy. That is something doable. We can still do. But if you feel that writing in a journal in a hard copy and keeping it always with yourself and also since there could be something which you would like to have privacy for and you are not able to write everything that occurs to you then in that case you can also open some file on the drive and keep writing there so you can open open a word file on the drive and there you can keep noting your observations every day and there it, it can be quite personal also whatever you feel you can write there that is also possible so either in hard copy or soft copy i hope all of us have opened a journal we have started writing in a journal is that true is there still anyone here in the meeting today who has not started writing in a journal
nice see to it because we are into a serious exercise we are trying to understand ourselves we are trying to understand the entire existence and in that process we are trying to be a pure observer as a pure observer we are going to do exercise one and two yeah so all those of us who have not still started writing a journal i say that you can do it very simple now in fact you can have multiple apps in your mobile also in which you can write on a daily basis isn't it there could also be a possibility that you can record your voice in your mobile and store it in a particular folder which is something private to you that is also possible see when you go back and refer to it you'll be able to see your previous state and the present state and then you can see the transformation that has taken place in you you can also see on what counts you have been able to transform yourself and on what counts you have not been able to transform yourself and then you can also get a note of your preconditions deep preconditions which have been hindering you isn't it which you are finding difficult to overcome all of us have certain preconditions which we find difficult to overcome and certain preconditions which we are able to easily overcome that depends from you know, depends on the person and varies from person to person yes if that is completely clear then we can go to the content today so keep on observing keep on observing this is the gist of the complete knowledge the right understanding because i need to see whether i am happy by myself and that also in continuity then only i can be a help to the happiness of the other then only i can participate in the larger order with peace with happiness otherwise i go to do something outside and if the outcome is not favorable then i become perturbed i become anxious i become disturbed i become uncomfortable and i start blaming others now just see if you also imagine that if each one of us is able to ensure right understanding right feeling in within and the source of happiness is innate to us then every person is going to be orderly and every person is going to be participating in the larger order isn't it and that is the vision for a human society that every person is in harmony within and every person is participating in the harmony of society and that is quite possible but only that we have to give the right priority for that then only this is going to happen and the key would be that the person is able to ensure happiness within happiness becomes innate to somebody nice to everybody nice so this is the process of self exploration which we are in we are trying to explore by ourselves so we keep on saying this i am saying this again that whatever i am sharing from my side take it as a proposal and then verify it at your own right at the level of your natural acceptance now one important task here is to listen to the proposal to grasp the proposal precisely what is being said so the words are the same but the meaning may change isn't it so we need to listen to the complete proposal and we need to listen to the precise meaning of words that is being conveyed and then i have to refer to my natural acceptance we all need to refer to our natural acceptance and in this process we'll see that we become more and more aware of our natural acceptance and this is a very good thing that we are able to connect every day isn't it and you can see the benefit also out of it that i keep on doing something within i keep on doing something outside but seldom are we able to refer to our natural acceptance in fact many times it is also not clear what is acceptance and what is natural acceptance <clears throat> whether i call it as natural acceptance or not <clears throat> so referring the proposal to our natural acceptance on one hand i become clear of the proposal on the other hand i also become clear of the natural acceptance and this process of referring to the natural acceptance also gets deeply ingrained in me that without without because uh, in place of assuming something to be true or false 
I would uh, rather refer the proposal to my natural acceptance and then decide for myself. The second thing, or let me say the third thing. So the first thing was listening to the proposal. And second thing was uh, verifying on the basis of natural acceptance. And the third thing is validating in my living. Now, when I go to live with my family members, with my colleagues at the marketplace, with people in the system, people in the neighborhood, then my living reflects to me. Is my living in accordance with my natural acceptance, in accordance with the proposal? So many times it may happen that I try to verify the proposal on the basis of my natural acceptance. And I tend to assume that, yes, I have understood. Uh, I analyze it and I find that, yes, this appeals to me. And we may assume that I have understood it. But when I go to live accordingly, then my level of competence reflects to me. I'm able to see whether I have been able to understand it rightly or not. And how do I verify it in my living? So I am able to see whether my behavior with human being is mutually fulfilling. Does it ensure happiness in me? Does it ensure happiness in the other? Now here also, if I have the right understanding, I behave with the other with happiness. If I do not have right understanding, I behave with the other for happiness. So in this process, when we are validating the proposal, <clears throat> first of all, we'll behave with the other for happiness and see whether it ensures mutual happiness. And verifying within and validating in living, we may come to the state when we have the right understanding of that particular ceiling which I have been able to verify and validate. Now, when I go to interact with the person, now the feeling is stated within. I have been able to contemplate on that feeling. And when I'm interacting, I'm interacting with happiness. So I'm not moved. I'm not shaken. I'm not confused while interacting with the person. And all the time, with the feeling of happiness within, I'm interacting with the person and trying to ensure happiness in the other person also. And if that is there, it also validates. So it is a kind of recursive process where I keep on verifying within, validating my living. I'm able to understand some part and then go I further and try to understand more. And in this whole process, my right understanding grows. Similarly, I validate in my living with the rest of nature. I try to see while fulfilling the needs of the body, the way I interact with the nature, is it mutually enriching or not? Does it uh, fulfill me and fulfill the rest of nature also? If not, then I have to again go back and see whether I am doing the right thing or not, whether it is as per the proposal or not. So this is a kind of recursive process and we all are here co-exploring together and we are able to see you know, how we have been verifying and validating and you'll also see that while listening to the same proposal again and again the meaning of the proposal further gets reflected to us so initially it was a word then the word opened and i'm able to grasp the meaning that is being said in a line then i'm also able to grasp the whole content that is being said and then I'm also able to share it with the other precisely. And when I share with the other, I further image the meaning of that word within me. And this keeps on happening. This keeps on happening. And in this whole process, we develop as a human being. We develop the right understanding. Nice. So if there's any question regarding whatever I shared, you can raise your hand. I, by now, in the third batch also, I am not very clear about how to validate a proposal. That means I live by that. What exactly it means? Means uh, I will do according to the proposal. If I can't do, so in that case, what to do? So that's what, if you can clarify, that will be yes. better. 
nice question, Bia. So I try to live by the proposal, and I'm not able to live. Then I go to study the proposal further. What is being said, and in uh, that process only we again discuss the proposal. So let me say that presently we are here at SR Institute, and we are uh, we are as a part of UHV three workshop. So in introductory workshop, we got to got to hear the proposal, and then again we listen to the proposal in UHV two. Now we are again uh, discussing the proposal here in UHV three. So the meaning gets more and more clear to us. So when I go to validate in my living, and I am not able to validate, it is not resulting in mutual happiness. Then I go to study the proposal in depth, in width. And then see whether I have been able to grasp the proposal rightly and completely or not. This is one thing. Second thing, it may be the case that I have listened to the proposal, but I have not been able to verify it rightly. So maybe I am looking at my acceptances, my conditionings, and from there only I am deriving some conclusion. So that process also has to be further developed, where I am able to refer the proposal to my natural acceptance. So that means so why been. I should for, yes uh, why I am feeling like this that is to be answered within yes yeah so I have to okay. ask Thanks. why to me every time yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay thank you thank you nice yeah so I have a clarity and mutual prosperity pardon. Mutual prosperity. I want to clarify on that. Yeah, yeah. So mutual prosperity means that when I'm interacting with the rest of nature, isn't it? So am I able to fulfill my needs and feel that, yes, I have been able to fulfill my needs rightly. I have more than required. At the same time, the rest of nature with which I have been interacting, have I been able to enrich it, <clears throat> protect it? This is also something that I keep on verifying. <clears throat> so if I'm able to enrich it, protect it you know, in the process of right utilization, then I can see the difference there also. For example, if I'm doing farming and I am taking crops from my farm, now the method that I'm employing, is it enriching the soil or depleting the soil? If it is depleting the soil, then my process is not correct. Somewhere I have not been able to see my relationship with the soil. I have not been able to see the relationship with water. I just see presently in Bangalore, we had this water crisis. And in most of the metro cities, we are having this water crisis. Now, we are not able to see our relationship with water. We have been extracting so much of water, consuming so much of water. And we are not bothered about repleting the water in the ground. That's how it is getting depleted. If I'm taking water from the land, then I have to also see whether the land is getting enriched with water or not. At least I'm not destroying it. So I'm, if I'm doing farming, I have to see whether I'm able to see my relationship with the soil, whether I'm able to see my relationship with water, with air, now, in the cities, we are living in a way where we are polluting the air. It is being said that most of the bronchitis problems today are owing to pollution in the air. So, we are not living the right way with the rest of nature. It means there is something wrong with my way of living. And my way of living is wrong because my understanding is lacking. There is some conditioning in me. For example, if I assume consumption to be happiness, I try to consume as much as possible from the nature. So, I repeat deplete the nature, I pollute the nature, I destroy the nature. And that is owing to my wrong conditioning. I am somehow relating my happiness to exploitation. The more I exploit, the more happier I am. This is something that may have been a preconditioning. And you can see, right, people are living like that. Now we are going to find a uh, possibility of life in another planet. I'm always reminded of one scientist, Stephen Hawking, who came to India in 2007. And when he came, then many media persons interviewed him. 
and one media uh, like house published a report and in that they had asked stephen hawking what are the major problem that you see in front of humanity today so he named five major problems like nuclear warfare global warming genetic warfare you know pollution resource depletion things like this and then they asked that what do you see as the solution to all these problems that was way back in 2007 and he said that we should be doing as much research as possible so that we can move to some other planet by 2020 now is this mutual prosperity we destroy this planet earth and move to some other planet you see daily we are getting news of wars and some possibility is always expressed even i am not able to go through the news presently but i learned that some new possibility of war has opened up and there is always a menace of nuclear war now if i am doing nuclear war am i going to enrich the nature or deplete the nature what do you think so in place of living with relationship with other human beings we are fighting so it is not resulting in mutual happiness and we are destroying the nature also if you just see the war between ua uh, the ukraine and russia and you look at the pathetic view of cities you know all cities turn into black and white spots with so much of bombarding what are we doing so i have to look at a personal level also the way i am consuming physical facilities is it enriching the nature or not i have to look at societal level also i have to look at the level of nation and international relations also at least my vision has to be clear vision be at least my vision has to be clear yes sir Yes, clear, sir. Thank right, you, sir. Right, sir. Yeah. Nice. You can also write your affiliation here. Only your name appears. You have been joining previous batches also, or you are joining for the first time? No, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Earlier I was joined, sir. Acha. So, which batch had you joined earlier? Earlier ninth batch. Ninth batch. Okay. Ninth so batch. Maybe partially, partially seven to seventh eight also. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Partially joined. Nice, nice, dear. Okay. There is one clarifying question. Um, one is like we say, what is happiness? And happiness, we uh, say it's the harmony. And uh, what is harmony is um, what the alignment between what I am and what I want to be. So uh, the question is like. what i want to be is also in terms of feelings um uh, because feelings are uh, we are able to uh, verify with the help of natural acceptance is it right bhaiya yes so basically when you go to define harmony so harmony is be in accordance with my natural acceptance so at some yes. point of time we have to stop the usage of words and directly see and yes. the thing to see the natural acceptance from there yes. i get the meaning of harmony yes so that is about feeling what i want to be right i mean yeah, yeah. and uh, in fact people say we can say what i really want to be <laughs> because yes. generally when we say what i want to be it may be a set of my desires yes yes what i really want to be and what what yes. i want to be in continuity and um what i really want to be is there in continuity only so we are not adding yes. any further qualification to that exactly really means in continuity yeah yes yes and because uh, then we can go to you know i want to be happy and that is a cyclic process but uh, uh, no 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 hmm. i want to be happy is not cyclic if it is no i, I no what my question is like uh, i just wanted to clarify because uh, at the level of feeling i mean harmony is again um, uh, what i really want to be right i mean am i uh, in alignment with what i really want to be and then i think uh, these two things comes like uh, which two things i mean uh, 
prosperity and happiness or uh, maybe i will have right feelings no will not maybe but yes no i call the feeling right when it is acceptable to me naturally yes when i understand the meaning of happiness i can see that if i am happy you know uh, yes. referring to my natural acceptance and it is not excitement it is going to be continuous it can yes. continue at least i can see the possibility of continuity in yes. the state of excitement there is no possibility also for continuity but when i am able to see that happiness is to be in harmony something that we'll discuss next i can yes. see okay. the possibility of continuity there now when i say right feeling again whether the feeling is right or not it is again naturally and based yeah on my natural acceptance yes so being in the harmony is kind of having feelings which are uh, naturally acceptable to me say it again can we, so can we say that being in the harmony means having feelings which are naturally acceptable to me yes 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 ji bhaiya thanks thanks a lot nice bhaiya so created a journal and maintaining it bhaiya nice bhaiya nice so nice so find out for yourself which process is naturally acceptable to you a process of self exploration self verification on your own right leading to understanding in yourself or a process of do's and don'ts in which you assume what is said without verification so i hope you all are able to see which process is acceptable naturally would you like to go through self exploration this is also something important even though we may just say that yes process of self exploration but it may be the case that when i go to verify and i find it difficult for myself because of my old conditionings or some pains in the past because when i go to self explore i might be reminded of pains of the past or fears of the future or contradiction that i am having with the present and then <coughs> i may assume that going by certain norms is better the self exploration is going to be very painful <laughs> this may also happen this has been shared by many participants also at times not all the time that when i go to self explore it opens up a uh, let's say set of you know problems for me because i get reminded of certain things which i have come to forget now but uh, i have been going through those many things in the past and when i get reminded i feel very pain this may happen or when i start exploring into all these issues then i have so many apprehensions and fears of the future or when i try to see my relationship with all my life becomes more disturbed i am better you know uh constricted to a few people in my neighborhood or around me so this may also occur to you so we may simply say that yes process of self exploration is acceptable to us naturally but at times you will see that within you also many times you try to go by norms and feel that this is better this makes me more comfortable you know this may also occur to you this may also happen to you so keep that also open keep that also open and try to see okay yeah so we have raised this question but keep on trying to see whether i am ready to go by self exploration every time or on some counts i try to go by self exploration on some other counts i try to go by certain norms do's and don'ts should and shouldn'ts because i find it more comfortable think over it can i share something which i feel today can i say something can i share something which i feel today ha ah, sure but briefly not uh, briefly, briefly briefly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah initial uh, uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes it was fine okay uh, 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 i was able to look within but when there was a uh, uh, bell of the ring uh, of phone i get 
disturbed and a number of thoughts comes jumping from one point to another sometimes i feel i am very perfect and i am going straight i have also shared with you everything is fine but after some times i cannot say it is it is just like i have started from the initial point uh a lot of thought comes uh, a future past present how can i overcome that yeah that's what we are trying to do ji one important thing here is that unless i overcome that i will always try to avoid myself i will have fear for myself also that let me not get reminded of all those things so yes. i am there with me all the time but i am in fear with myself i am trying to forget so many things i am trying to avoid so many things because i am not comfortable within so one important thing here is to decide whether i am going to evaluate all those conditionings i am going to evaluate you know all those assumptions in me or am i going to carry forward those assumptions and try to live comfortably somehow or the other going for some favorable situations outside so this is something that we have got to decide one important thing many times we are not able to decide there could be some limitation there could be limitation of the body the body may not help me to that extent because uh, there could be some limitation there there could be limitation of time also there could be limitation of opportunities right. also so this is one important decision making required that whether i am able to or whether i am ready to explore each and everything or partly i am trying to explore and mostly i am trying to just carry forward this is one important decision this is not uh, i'll say that for each one of us this point does come and we have to keep on deciding whether i am going to carry forward those assumptions in me and try to somehow live comfortably this particular life and uh, let it just pass away without any disturbance or i am really ready to work for right and standing in completeness this is one thing second oh, yeah. thing is that ji second thing is that if i decide for myself that i have to explore within and get uh rid of all these fears and apprehensions and doubts and confusions then there is a possibility also that once forever it is done once forever i am able to evaluate and now it gets purified my sanskars get purified that is also a possibility ji uh bhaiya i am attached with uh, these programs from the very initial stages i have completed uhb 1 2 but in uh, after uh, 2000 uh, my two years back i become discontinued then i have started i have seen that when i become discontinued but it's i become to the back to the zero it is not actually zero so if you see you'll find that at least the the way the point at which you started exploring you were not aware of the proposal also now at least the proposal is clear and you yes. also see that it keeps on harping upon you it keeps on reminding you that you are not doing the right thing it may only be the case that i am not spending enough time for exploring within and transforming myself but it keeps on reminding you so some progress has taken place only that the progress that i was expecting has not taken place so that's how we have to give a right priority to this and we have to assign a uh, time every day for this i have to assign a phase of my life also that now this is my first thing i have to do so uh, bhaiya i am i am i am afraid that for 10 days i will have to go to australia for a tour if it will discontinue 10 days it will be a great loss for me i i feel i feel uh, may not, not be that we have so much of it facilities you can always listen to the lectures on youtube you can go to the slides that possibility is there bhaiya na bhaiya now i will not miss Uh, at least i will spend one hour daily i have decided that yoga and this will continue my, i am i am doing my puja for one hour even that okay. in initial stage it was excellent going very good but in the middle be 
मैंने बीच में एक दम मुझे लगा कि मैं आई बिकम जीरो इज इट नॉट इट बट आफ्टर थ्री फोर डेज टूडे आई एम फीलिंग फिफ्टी परसेंट ओके बट थॉट्स आर वेवरिंग अलॉट 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 सो हाउ कैन आई कंट्रोल माई थॉट भैया no there is no need to control in fact you have to just simply be as you are and then observe yourself and then see what is acceptable to you naturally in fact we need to avoid any kind of controlling in place of controlling we have to be as i am and and then uh, observe it and then see what is acceptable to me naturally and then transform myself this is something that we are going to discuss at length in exercise 1 also perfect perfect i got it i got it nice you are in dtu uh, i am in dtu i am in nsut i am in ipu i am teaching this subject from last 4 oh. years which subject this universal human value and this whole course that uh, up to unit 5 Uh, every is, every station I also yes i am teaching in dtu also oh very nice where do you stay bhaiya i am in delhi bhaiya i retired from maruti as a deputy general manager after that i become a, a lecturer in these colleges and Achha, after my nice. retirement i am doing this job please share your contact number somebody was asking for a faculty at nsut who has gone through workshop so nice i'll share your number okay okay bhaiya okay bhaiya I, I I will give it to you. I presently I will give it to you. So nice. Mr. Mm -hmm. Prabhat ji, you have no more question. Uh, no no no. I I have helped a number of students, but sometimes I myself, मैं दूसरे को रास्ता बताता हूँ, और कभी कभी खुद अपना भूल जाता हूँ. I don't know. कोई बात नहीं अभी हम लोग कनेक्टेड रहेंगे मॉर्निंग सेशन में है ना एक दूसरे को हेल्प करते रहेंगे थैंक यू भैया थैंक यू सो नाइस ऑफ यू नाइस भैया गुड मॉर्निंग भैया गुड मॉर्निंग टू को एक्सप्लोरर्स भैया आई हैव आई हैव सम ऑब्जर्वेशन आई वांटेड टू क्लेरिफाई एज़ वेल व्हेनेवर आई ट्राई टू सिट विद माय सेल्फ एंड ऑब्जर्व विद इन and try to observe the thoughts and feeling like i uh, learned from the previous uh, morning meeting sessions um i realized that the in relation to the is happiness is our innate nature or not or if i'm getting happiness from external things um i still uh, don't think i'm I, i still think that i'm getting sensation from external source but i don't want to differentiate uh, it as a bad thing because when i try to change or stop or give a meaning to it whether it's a bad or good thing i develop a reaction towards it uh, are you able to uh, guide me with this bhaiya and i'm i'm sort of hoping that by doing these exercises and um having more to work on me my desires will automatically change in, in future is that a, a good uh, path to go thank you yeah partly correct so you have been attending the morning sessions sincerely yes. and you also shared your experience uh, in the morning session so i have been doing it sincerely now just see to what extent you are able to open up your old conditionings and evaluate and verify and to what extent you are still trying to continue with that that is up to you and each one of us can decide that for oneself so yes yes just be a part of this explorational process and rest will follow right uh, i i could uh, manage to note my quite deepest sanskar as well um so i'm not trying to change them but they have come in under my observation so hopefully by noticing it my desires will so i'm hoping that uh, i'm not changing it it will just reduce automatically by being part of the the proposal and uh, human value yeah that's how we say that in place of changing our sanskars we need to just purify yeah. them and that is possible by referring to the natural acceptance so in place of yes. uh directly targeting our sanskars we can just try to refer to the natural acceptance and rest will be taken care of only that i have to be aware yeah. thank you bhaiya thank you so much bhaiya can we go to the next slide
so now we'll discuss the meaning of happiness and prosperity so we have defined this in introductory workshop in which we do workshop also so what happiness is to me now we have gone through the definition now here as a pure observer i have to see what happiness means to me when i am happy what makes me happy within me what makes me happy so we'll see that whatever state of situation in which i live if there is harmony or synergy in it then it is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state of situation and thus i can conclude for myself that to be in a state of harmony or synergy is happiness and that means to say that happiness is to be in harmony now you just see we try to sit by ourselves for half an hour and we try to see our current state and then we are asking ourselves whether happiness is in it to me or is it an external influence now when you sit by yourself you get reminded of certain situations that could be pertaining to your relationship in the family or that could be at your workplace you get reminded of certain events and you have some situation you know, in your imagination inside and you just see if in that situation there is harmony you feel comfortable you want to continue with that if there is disharmony in that situation in your imagination only i am talking you try to come out of it you feel anxious you feel perturbed you feel unhappy about it does it happen so earlier when we were saying that you know we can look at various states and situations in which we live and now we can see that all those situations are also there in my memory in my imagination so being with myself i can go through those situations and see what makes me happy what makes me unhappy this is again something uh, of utmost importance because it may be the case that i assume that if my desires get fulfilled if others act according to me i am going to be happy if things go my way i am going to be happy and then precisely put i am not working for harmony i am working for fulfilling my desires so i need to see within me what happiness means to me so as we go along and as we keep on verifying we see that essentially we are looking for harmony harmony within isn't it and when the harmony is within there is harmony in my interactions outside also on the other hand if you look at the same state of situation in which we live and there is disharmony or contradiction then it is not acceptable naturally to be in that state of situation and we want to come out of it but still if i am forced to be in that state of situation then it is unhappiness for me so you will be able to see that happiness is to be in harmony and unhappiness is to be in disharmony so unhappiness can be equated to disharmony and happiness can be equated to harmony but i have to find out for myself if this is actually happiness for me or not so one hand is raised we'll take up the question of akhileshwar ji so for 5 minutes we can observe whether i try to be happy by understanding and living in harmony or my programs are sometimes otherwise also what happiness means to me i have to observe within me at a personal level i have to observe in my own situations in my own life in my own relations you know given the whole background what happiness means to me i have to observe for myself so we'll observe this for 5 minutes and then we'll take up some questions so the for the 5 minutes i'll not take up any question or speak something from my side just observe and then we'll discuss
nice so if you have any observation to share so the assignment that we have taken for these five minutes is that what happiness means to me am i able to see that happiness is to be in a state of harmony or is it something else and that is to say that is happiness to be in accordance with my natural acceptance or something else find it out Yep, uh, the question which I have today is like uh, when I start observing my thoughts, so if I'm agitated, I can very easily find out that uh, this is the thought which is bothering me. But when I am a little bit calm or composed, it becomes little tough for me to observe the thoughts. It's not like that thoughts are not there, but it becomes little tough. So what I am doing when I start observing my thoughts when I am sitting, say for 10 minutes, then I start looking for the areas like what is, what are the thoughts which may be uh, going on inside me, say related to family. Then second, what at my workplace, like compartment like these things. So is it okay or shall I wait for those thoughts to come out? I mean, if I ask... Yes, yes. So you are saying your thoughts get compartmentalized? No, not thoughts. Like, like if I sit and start observing my thoughts, if I am little bit uh, calm and composed, then it's not like that. Uh, I mean, thoughts didn't. I could not very easily find out what are the thoughts going uh, inside. So if uh, then I ask to myself that what are the thoughts from my family? Like in morning I started. Say I ask, what about my family? Then those thoughts related to family comes out. Then later okay. on, then I thought, what is the uh, points? What are the thoughts? Your mudde. What are these mudde from my workplace? Then those come out. So is it okay or I mean, shall I wait for? I, will not I don't. Say, uh, yeah, I'll not say that this is completely okay because you are not able to observe your thoughts naturally. So and you are trying to build up something within you. So that you are able to observe some set of thoughts. In place of that, I can naturally observe because thinking is a continuous process and that is anyway going on in me. So just I have to observe. I do not have to create something within me to be able to observe. It's not that I have to think about my family or I have to make it a point that let me think about family and then I uh, get some idea about my thoughts. No. Something is going on inside me. Just look at it. Look at it afresh. Look at it you know, without any reaction without any imposition from my side. And I think you and Anupma ji both are there. You can help each other in that process. You know, how to see my imagination naturally. So, yeah. ji. In my sharing, you asked you know, that uh, I should do those exercises uh, more. I mean, more. Yes, yeah. Because you are not able to observe your thoughts. And see, let me yes. say that in step one exercise one only, we even have to observe our feelings. So that may take some time. And as we go along, we'll share that. But let me say uh, one thing that may help you is that you start observing your object of imagination. So let's say when you are sitting by yourself and you get uh, some thought about your colleague. Now from the colleague, you get a thought about some incident. From the incident, you get thought about some other person. And from one point to another point, your thought has been migrating. First, make out those points of thought or those objects of imagination. Then you can go further and observe your imagination and your feelings also. That is something which is quite doable and you can do that. So try that. It's not that I have to impose something within me to be able to see it. Okay, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice, nice Bhaiya. Uh, Bhaiya, uh, as per instructions from you, I uh, I sit at uh, one place with a calm and cool. Uh, my observations are I define in the five stages. Uh, number one, my thoughts are coming and going. Just uh, I uh, I was not sleep, but I was aware that I, I sit at a uh, for observation. Uh, my thoughts are coming and going. My eyes was. My, many pictures are coming and going. Both are as a picture, jate bite. 
my eyes was closed uh, then my body part as it is no movement maine bhaiya ye bhi dekha hai ki my bodies are uh, body parts are not uh, moving anywhere uh, my respiration was constant मेरा मेरा ध्यान इधर भी गया कि मेरे जो श्वास उश्वास चल रहे वैसे वो कांस्टेंट थे आई वांट टू बी कंटिन्यू विद दिस स्टेट मैं वो स्टेट से बाहर भी नहीं आना चाहता था और लास्ट पॉइंट ऐसा था कि आई थिंक दिस दिस इज अ हारमोनी भैया इज इट करेक्ट और आई थिंक फॉर माय सेल्फ कैन यू कमेंट भैया yeah so the test here is that try to continue with that and just okay. try to see you know would you like to continue with that yeah yeah of course uh, because my wife is came and she just asked me uh, something i i, I didn't remember what uh, what she asked but i want to continue with this state ha uh, find it out it could also be that you have some favorable feeling inside and Ji. you are you know trying to continue with that but if okay. it is only some favorable feeling you will get fed up after some time it could also be that some favorable sensation is there which is getting fulfilled but you also get you know fed up of that after some time but if it is your naturally acceptable feeling ji bhaiya would like to continue with that so this continuity is something that helps me test whether this is my naturally acceptable state or not ji bhaiya ji bhai yes yes i got it bhaiya yes 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 nice, okay 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 thank you bhaiya ji bhai namaste sabhi ko ji namaste so as an assignment we'll look into this part of the proposal we'll try to see whether happiness means this to me or not you know what do i look for in terms of happiness